This is the lock picking newbie. And uh, what we have today is another unpackaging. And the last couple of these uh, really didn't go too well. And um, I've been thinking about that. And uh, I, I think it was some overconfidence and lack of mental discipline. So um, I have been practicing and also trying to uh, reset my mindset about uh, picking these locks. It's all fun and games, but uh, nobody wants to sit around for 17 minutes and watch a newbie uh, uh, flounder. So we'll see if it made any difference. Uh, this is a, I've been really wanting to get into this thing. Uh, this is from our friends at Mega Locks down in Palm Beach, Florida. And let's see what we have. That's an invoice in there, so I'll just leave that out. Okay, what do we have here? We have a, we have a couple of nice stickers. Put those over there. Ooh, and uh, this is going to be a uh, nice Mako Lock key fob. Uh, hashtag lock it with Mako. Maybe I'll put that on this uh, video also. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as a uh, stock lock Sunday. Got the key code there four four two four one three, and it's a model four twenty seven. All right, nice um, beefy feeling lock. There's the key code four four two four one three. One, two, three, four, five, six pins. Um, not horrible bidding. Uh, okay. I won't make any editorial comments about how challenging the pick should be. Uh, nice packaging. Um, I think that's a quarter inch uh, shackle. Hardened steel. The body feels like steel. Um, nicely machined around the corners. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can already see a serrated key pin in number one. Um, the arrangement gen looks generally uh, similar to the American uh, master type arrangement. Okay, guys, let's see if uh, we can get into this guy. I'm using the pry bar in 50 thousandths. There's plenty of room there. And I do think the bar is touching the, uh, the key pin, so I'll back it out just a little bit. And apply light tension. We'll see how many times I drop the uh, pry bar during this video. I'm using a number one hook in 18 thousandths. And um, we'll start from the front. Feels like a little bit of binding on one and uh, Got a couple of little clicks there, sort of like serration type clicks. Uh, two. Okay, got a couple of clicks on two. Three feels springy. Four feels springy. Five feels springy. And six is binding. Okay, sort of a big click on six. I hope I didn't overset uh, five. Now back to one, another little serration type click, another little serration type click, uh, done for now. Two feels a little firm, let's see what that feels like. Oh, you guys can't see the lock right now. Mm, that felt like an overset. Okay, I just pushed on two, and it, when it went, it felt real mushy weird, so I just released some tension and tried to drop the overset. I think I'm on three now. I got a click and some movement in the core. I'm getting some counter rotation on that pin. Okay, I got another click. I think I'm on five. Got a little serration type click on five, counter rotation. And we're open. All right, guys. Um, 
I'm really happy we got this open. I uh, was having a crisis of confidence there. I don't necessarily think it reflects on the lock compared to um, the last couple of um, opens, but I hope you could hear, um, I really tried to have a lot better mental and physical discipline there. Okay, um, inside, which you cannot see, there's a Phillips, a Phillips and slot head screw. All right, I've got it turning without stripping it. If you've been around for some of my recent gutting mishaps, you, you know that that represents real progress. We'll bring the uh, gutting tray over. This is a um, revision of the gutting tray. Um, I saw, you guys saw the last time I gutted a lock. Um, I basically upscaled the whole thing 20% in the slicer. And um, it's a little better. Okay. Um, pretty standard looking security nut. Um, this little retention plate looks thicker than what you'd get on an American or Master lock. Okay, there's a uh, anti... Um, bypass disc here. That's a good sign. The core has a vertical um, actuator, so we do need that anti-bypass disc. There's a little Sharpie mark on here on the front. Maybe that's for me. <laughs> uh, hey, Noob, that's the front. And inside, um, the actuator, look, again, looks pretty standard, similar to the pack lock that we did uh, a while back. All right, very nice. Let's uh, get this clip off of here. Use my handy dandy quick set tool. There we go. All right, so we're going to go key pins away from me. Oh, let's do the shim. There is a kind of a big uh, slot around the aft end of this um, plug, so we might avoid some trouble this way. All right. Okay, that was, that was handy. All right, nice um, compact little plug here. Uh, the tops of the key pins look uh, kind of flat. And we'll dump them. All right, I'd like to dump them. <laughs> okay. I might have to pick the, the key pins out of the uh, plug here. Two, okay, so one was serrated like we saw. Two is standard, three is serrated. Four looks standard. Gosh, guys. Uh, yeah, so, okay, F five is serrated, and so I, I don't know what's dragging the uh, pins like that. It, there, I think there's a little bit of lube uh, in here. Um, the pins look really nice. So, I again, I will start with uh, pin six, and unlike um, the last time I did this, I will keep the springs in their location just in case the springs are different. So number six is standard, and it felt standard um, when I picked it. Okay, there's the spring. Hopefully we're in frame here. 
5 is a spool. Springs look similar to one another, but we'll, we'll see what they really look like. Oops, that was 5. 4 is a spool. Can't really tell if the springs are different yet. One is serrated, and that, that squares with how it felt, because yeah, I felt like little serration type clicks on one, if I recall correctly. Two's a spool, and three is serrated. All right, guys. Um, hey, I really like this lock, uh, and I especially like the fact that um, through some mental discipline, I was able to perform a little better on here. I mean, the point of the channel is not to be the world's greatest lock picker, but um, like I said, those last couple performances were, I think, substandard. So here are the pins. Hopefully we can keep them in focus. Um, on the uh, key pins, we've got, uh, the short pins are standard in two and four, and the, um, the key pins that are a little bit longer are serrated, sort of like an American lock. And then the driver pins uh, are a mixture of serrated in one and three, and spools in two, four, and five, and a standard pin in six. The springs, I don't know if they're all the same or not. They, they, they didn't feel any different. But there you have it. Uh, the Mako 427, uh, I like this lock. It's a good, strong, you know, beefy feeling lock. Um, it was a really fun pick and I'm looking forward to getting this into my rotation for practice locks. So with that, thank you all, as always, for participating in the channel. This is the Lock Picking Newbie. Have a good day.